What's up guys, Six Mix here, back with a video, and as you can tell behind me, we are at a storage unit. Not just a storage unit though, a shoe storage locker. This thing is full of shoes, as you can tell, it is literally full. Yeah, this storage unit went for $6,500. I'm honestly not sure how it went for this cheap when all these shoes are sitting here. There is a risk involved, there could have been empty, you know, but a lot of these, I mean, all of them are full. They all have shoes. Like this one box was empty, but I'm pretty sure it's just one of these pairs right here. Those look weird. I don't like those fuzzy shoes. But there definitely are some nice shoes in here. Whole thing of Yeezys. Bunch of nice Jordans. Dang, that thing's like sealed in there. What the heck? Air Burst. I like that color. You can just see price tags on the sides though. 425, 550, 550, 550, 325. That's crazy, you guys. There's a lot of money just sitting here. I like something like this, not gonna lie. I like just a basic, simple white and blue, white and red. Just a nice, simple colorways. I might have to buy a shoe from the pirate guys, you never know. And we loaded it all up real quick, take it back to the warehouse and give you guys a better update. Holy smokes, guys. We have everything set up behind me, as you can tell. We're actually about to be selling all of these shoes in the next few hours for a $1 starting bid. But we have crazy shoes like these shoes right here. They're called Strawberry Cuffs. Personally, I've never heard of them, and I honestly would never wear them. Very weird looking shoes. Like, look at they're like like strawberries. They got like these little strawberry dots. They got the green in the back. I guess it's pretty clean looking, you know, pretty clean. But they're worth like 500 bucks. Pretty crazy. I feel this unit is. A What's your favorite pair of shoes if you could pick one? Eeny, meeny, miny, we know that these are all a bit too small for you. I've never owned Yeezy, but those would be fun. This pair right here, size 10 as well, so you definitely aren't fitting these. And they are one of the most expensive ones, I think, on the block. These right here are actually pretty pricey because they're Olympic. Foam posits are very valuable, but this pair right here is probably one of the most pricey this is know. yeah i would honestly chat <laughs> i really want to get this pair but like he said i actually i'd have to pay it if i wanted them but i don't really want to pay i want to say a five to seven hundred bucks on this and i don't want to pay that there's some weird ones in here that have some extreme value i'm trying to find one it's uh they're like like these right here i saw only saw these used on the internet people are selling these for like 300 ours are like damn near dead stock so it makes you wonder what the difference is when they're dead stock like this all over my brain pretty sure right <laughs> special chinese new year year of the horse oh a little bit uh, <laughs> i like testing a little bit them. old a little bit old but i want to show you guys like all of the shoes like each one these are all pretty nice and i want to say we can at least get 150 to 200 bucks per shoe hopefully some of them might be cheaper like this kid's shoe yeah it definitely will probably get like 80 bucks on this honestly even though they're asking 150 We'll probably get like 80 bucks. Some Yeezy slides. I know these are somewhat comfortable, people say. A bunch of nice shoes. I just want to give you guys a little pan through of all of these shoes. Personally, I like these red ones. What are these, the 11s? Yep, I like the 11s. Pretty nice pair of shoes. But they're graded is one thing. I'm not sure like how they graded them. I didn't know you can grade shoes like that. But if you look up the sneaker savant and you type in that little number or whatever, you can see the shoe. Some shoes got some weird colorways, honestly. Like, I would never wear them, but. Ooh, another one of these 11s. I just like this type of style for some reason. It's pretty clean. The all whites. This thing is made of a football. No, nah, it's probably not, but it looks like it. Nice pair, nice clean pair right there. I like that. These are pretty much brand new for the most part. At least all of the ones that I'm showing you right now are pretty much all new. We set aside some of the ones that were sort of damaged. I really like these pair. Like this is the one I kind of want back. Like, Yo, dad, let me get these. <laughs> the Robins, the Robin twos, the Batman and Robin twos. What's up, bro? And we got the He-Mans. Come on, Skeletor and He-Man. That's pretty fire, honestly. I don't know if I could personally be wearing these, but you know, if you're a He-Man fan, I see it. There's a lot of Yeezy slides and Yeezy shoes and stuff too. I know these are worth some good money. These honestly might be the most money right here. Look, at they're asking 350 bucks just for a pair of these small, wow, that's actually crazy. Not sure if we'll get anything near that, but we got like a store, it looks like. That's what this storage unit looks like. It's almost like a store. They're charging some crazy prices, 500 bucks for these. Wow. They had a lot of like hype clothing, what it's called. Like just a bunch of like hype gears, what it's called maybe. I wanna say it's something like that. 
I like that shirt. That's pretty funny. Pretty pricey pieces, I bet as well. Look at that. They're charging 108 bucks on their other shirt. Like, wow. A bunch of nice jeans. Or are they charging some like this? 70 bucks, okay. Pretty reasonable, I feel like. Some like whole track suits or something like that. Maybe they're just sweats. No, I think they're like whole suits. Jacket, sweatpants, chilling with no makeup on. Dang, okay, that's pretty nice clothing, honestly. I think there's some good money in the clothing as well. I'm just more hyped to see like shoes, but this is pretty nice. Whoa, they're charging $600 on this. Wow. Not sure who's paying $600 on that. They were charging $2,000 on this pair of shoes right here. So maybe they're a bit taxing. I don't know. Is this, super, is this pair of shoes worth $2,000? And that's a wrap. We literally just sold all of the shoes in like three hours, maybe four, maybe four hours, but all of the shoes are, they're gone. We sold them all very fast. We started them all for a dollar starting bid and they did pretty well. I want to say like everything got pretty close to its price. Like, like this shoe went for like 450 bucks, maybe a couple dollars off what it's worth, but still worth it, honestly. All the nice shoes that I wanted went for full price pretty much, which I mean, I wasn't gonna bid on that. I was gonna maybe throw a couple bids in the show if like they're a good price, maybe I'll buy a shoe, but everything went for full value, so. That was good though. I think I can show you guys the show total right now. Let me, let me go show you guys how much we sold out of everything. Before I show you, put in the comments right now what you think we sold, just before I show you. We sold about $22,000 in like four hours, give or take. And honestly, we barely sold any clothes. Like none of these clothes are sold. None of that clothes is sold. None of that clothing over there is sold. None of this clothing back here is sold. And there's boxes behind there, like a few of those like book, book cartons or whatever. So there is upwards of like 30,000, maybe 28,000 because the clothes is nice. Like that's going to bring in a couple thousand as well. So we're selling somebody else's stuff they found a good unit they didn't know how to liquidate it like how we can so they said you guys sell it we sell it 50 50 and yeah there we go that's how it worked out but they spent 6500 and we sold about 30 grand in total that's what it'll work out too but we're happy to sell it like that was a fun show for us we don't like to sell boring stuff so that was definitely cool to have a bunch of nice shoes to sell speaking of these shows i have my own show coming up where i run video games I'm going to be running something like this, like all these video games, but this game right here is worth like $600. It's a sealed Game Boy game. Starting that for a dollar, starting these Game Boys for a dollar, everything. Everything starts for a dollar. These handheld systems, very nice stuff coming up. Honestly, so far there's probably about like $1,500 worth of stuff that I'm going to be starting for a buck in this show. And I still like two weeks, probably be upwards like two grand, three, maybe three grand. We'll see what we find in these next few weeks. How did you feel with the shoe show, Dad? Did you think you got full price on everything? I think it was okay. I, I'm a, I wish it would have went maybe a few thousand higher, but there was a few shoes that went way under value, but some of them did pretty good. And all the people said I was getting fair value for them. So, but one thing you have to notice that a lot of shoe sellers mm -hmm. bought our shoes, the best ones. So that tells you how wide is shoe seller. Buy our shoes. The, the four pairs that I looked up that I wanted got full price. Just no Let bad. me tell you this. I got four pairs and they got First full and price. foremost, all we did was sell them for somebody. So we got half of something we didn't pay for and we brought them profit and we get a large chunk of money. So that, that's After a win. the clothing sale, you'll probably make like, well, like at least 10 grand. There's gotta be at least five grand in clothes, right? So like he said, he didn't spend anything. We'll probably sell like five grand more in clothing. After fees, he profited at least 10 grand from a couple, a couple hours in shows paying us. He, Paying you guys labor, boxes, tape, all that's not cheap either. If you made it this far in the video, that means you watched the whole thing. Thank you so much for making this far. Put a shoe emoji in the comments if you made it this far. And peace out.